a look at my newly constructed flower pot antenna. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I put together a flower pot antenna um, at the moment. That's actually up in the air outside the window. If you can hear traffic noise, that's because I've got the window open. Um, I'm not closing the window. It's, uh, it's actually a bit warm in here. I uh, actually am in the shack. So, got Nano VNA Saver up on the screen here. Nano VNA is just in front of me. Um, so, this is just to show you what it's doing. So, check that's on two meters. It is. I'll have a look at that. And it's saying the SWR, the SWR is 1.255 to 1, at the, uh, pretty much across, across the band there. Actually, now that's uh, all those markers there. It's 1.255 at 144 megs, so uh, let's have a look. And goes up to about 1.5 at the top of the band, so it's not too bad. Let's see if I can get the. Let's see if there's an actual plot of the SWR here. So I don't know if there is one of those on this. There, there isn't one. So yeah, it says uh, 1.255 at 144. We go up the band, it starts to increase a bit. So that marker that I've just moved is going to be the marker 1. And it says 1.512 to 1. That's quite precise actually. At 146 megs. Let's change that. So we can have a look at 70 sems. Because this antenna is supposed to work there as well. Try that again. Set band sweep. Should really calibrate it for this, but you know, should be fine. Okay, so 438, it's saying 1.056 to 1, so it seems to be working alright up there. But that might be because the coax connectors might be a bit lossy. So let's see if I can. Move things about a bit. So, yeah. yeah. It seems okay. Actually, it's 77 according to that. So, I'll, I'll clear this off and uh, I will then just show, show you the antenna in situ. I've zoomed a bit in on that so you can see that. It's just up there. It's just over the roof. And the shack window is just there. So, I'm going to go back up there now. So, that's the antenna actually now in situ. See there's a bit of foil around that. That's um, part of the construction. There are instructions on how to make this online. I'll put a link to some in the video description. So I'm going to head back up to the shack now and connect it up to the radio. Okay, so I'm back in the shack now. I'm just holding the phone in my hand for the minute. I haven't connected a microphone or anything up to it, so I'm just using the phone's internal microphone. So we've got the radio here. Well, I don't expect a lot anyway because on receive because obviously it's going to get overloaded with pager transmissions because it's not got the best front end in the world. I need something like what I've got in the car if I wanted to avoid that problem. So I've connected the, this SWR meter up to it. This is my cross needle one. Make sure it's in the right mode. And that way we can get an idea of what's going on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out if this frequency is clear. Is this frequency in use, please? Mike Zero, Whiskey November uniform. Hmm. All I'm hearing there is a pager noise. Which is very annoying. So I don't actually know if there's anybody there. <laughs> So nothing I can do about that. So there's the SWR meter. I'll just quickly key up and key back down again very quickly. Yeah, SWR seems to be okay there. So I couldn't hear anyone on that frequency. So now let's see if I can get into the repeaters. So I need to press that one to get to my usual local repeater, GB3IR. So let's see if I can get into that.
Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, checking access to IR. No problem there. So that's working for the repeater. Okay, let's try HG. There's no one listening to that, usually. Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, checking access to HG. Problems there either. Yeah, I'm not going to try CD because I usually struggle to hear that over the pager noise whenever it is transmitting. So if I go to uh, CD's frequency and I push the monitor button. Just say so hear the pager noise on that, so there's nothing I can do about that. So if I go back to IR like that, then yeah, so that 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 concludes it's working. Well it's working on two meters anyway. And uh seems to be fine on 70 SEMs as well. And if it's fine on 70 SEMs, it probably might work on PMR446 for those of you who like to use equipment you shouldn't on PMR446. I'm not gonna stop you, but that's up to you at the end of the day. So that's the flower pot antenna. Um, like I say, I'm not going to show the complete build of it or anything because there are instructions on how to do that elsewhere. And that's uh, IR woke up. So, it's a few minutes before the local net that usually takes place. So, I think I'll give this antenna a run for its, for its money. <laughs> Even though the repeater's only like a couple of miles away. So, you know. Anyway, it's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446. Although I won't use that radio for PMR 446. Uh, or just a general natter on the old CB, there's President Grant too. You can just call me the Red Squirrel if you like. <laughs> so, set three for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. And, you know, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. I haven't said that for a while. <laughs> And if you also want to, I do have a Patreon these days as well. So, that's just showing you that I've been busy the last couple of... Well, the last day, uh, building building an antenna. So another one to add to my motley collection of antennas, I suppose. <laughs> and all it's made out of is a overflow pipe and a bit of tinfoil and uh, some, some coax. <laughs> right, 7-3 for now, guys.